Well, good evening and hello everyone. I'm uh, William Brantley from South Jackson, Tennessee, uh, ready to share with you today's climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days momentarily. Of course, I'm going to start off with the climate summary first, as I always usually do. As of 5 p.m. Uh, here in the Bemis area of South Jackson, the skies were partly cloudy at 5 p.m. Central Daylight Time. The temperature was 68 degrees. Hey, it warmed up very nicely today. Dew point was 47 degrees. The humidity was at 47%. The wind was out of the north at 6 miles per hour, and the barometric pressure was 30.33 inches of mercury. Today's low temperature was a cool 42 degrees. Today's high did get up to 69 degrees, almost made it to 70. Uh, had no rainfall of course today since midnight. I'm uh, still at 3.05 for October and 66.64 for 2018. Alrighty, uh, the, uh, the lowest humidity today was 42% at 3 and 4 p.m. while the highest would be 100% uh, uh, at 6 and 7 a.m. Lowest dew point temperature was 40 degrees at 7 a.m., while the highest was 47 degrees at 5 p.m. Lowest barometric pressure was uh, 30.27 inches at 12 a.m., while the highest would be 30.37 inches and occurred at 9 a.m. through 12 p.m. Today's highest wind gust was 15 miles per hour out of the north at uh, 255 p.m. Uh, the records for October the 17th, hottest high 89 degrees in 1953. The coolest tide would be 53 degrees, but that happened in 2009. Warmest low would be 67 degrees in uh, 2007. And the coldest low would be uh, 29 degrees way back in 1948. Alrighty, that pretty much concludes the climate summary. I guess I'll go ahead and show you a few graphs, and that may be it for the evening. I'll start off with the current uh, U.S. Uh, surface map, uh, courtesy of the National Weather Service, actually. And it was uh, as of uh, uh, 4.09 p.m. Central Standard Time. Let me fix it to where I can see it, and you can too. <laughs> uh, see where the systems are tonight, or at least as of late afternoon. Uh, looks like uh, uh, cold front moved through us uh, during the afternoon. There's high pressure over Missouri and Iowa, and kind of uh, Illinois there. Went over the panhandles of Florida. I met uh, Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, there's a cold front, uh, two of them actually, one through northern Florida and there you see uh, through the Carolinas and stops in north Mississippi. And uh, actually there's a low here, I need to get that map in here, there, but, uh, that belly is on here either. Way up there in north of Maine and way on up there in uh, north central <laughs> Canada it looks like. And there you see the other systems out west. Uh, and all. Looks like there's an area of snow out there in the mountains of uh, Utah, Colorado, and, uh, Arizona, and New Mexico. And there's another area up here in the northeastern portions of the country. We see that blue dotted line. That's an area of snow. And let me uh, branch it out so you see the whole nation uh, at one time if I can get the camera to go along with me. Uh, let me see. There we go. That's the longest stretch I've had to do yet. <laughs> there we go. Finally broke loose enough. Alright. Alright. That's Like I said, that's the current surface map uh, for the U.S. Alright. Let's move on to the uh, National Weather Service's radar. Which is nothing on it, of course, tonight. It's clear. No precipitation. There is some, but well south of us. Down around Pine Bluff, Arkansas, and Little Rock. It's moving eastward and probably going to dissipate as the uh, evening wears on. 
Alright, uh, let me get the wider span view here. Right quick like. Now you see there is an area of rain to our west-southwest over southern Oklahoma, northeastern Texas, and moving into Arkansas, maybe a little bit into Mississippi, but I doubt if it's moving into West Tennessee. It's probably going to stay south of us. Alright, uh, what's next? This one? Yeah, the satellite picture, courtesy of uh, AccuWeather. Uh, the uh, satellite and radar combo. Now you see the rain to our southwest, uh, there in Texas and Oklahoma and southern Arkansas. It is slowly moving eastward, and there are some more clouds moving in, so it won't be quite as pretty tomorrow as it was today, but still won't be too bad. There you see where the clouds are across the country. And uh, different parts of the area. Uh, let me see if I branch that out a little bit better. Let's see if we can get a better view of the west. It's clear out west. We see that dark brown background. That's clear skies. And uh, pretty much most of the country is cloudy tonight or maybe partly cloudy at uh, worst. It's fixing to go cloudy here in our area. Going to this map. Alrighty. What's next? Uh, forecast, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and share that with you. As you can see, uh, fair skies are going to continue for the, tonight. Sunset at uh, 617. We rise in the morning, morning at 704. Well, with mostly fair skies again tomorrow. It's not going to cloud up too much. It's going to be generally mostly clear. Might be a few fair weather clouds floating by from time to time, but not enough to create any uh, precipitation. Low near 44 tomorrow morning, high near 63, so it'll be a nice, another nice warm day tomorrow. North winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Sun rises again at 7.04. Sets tomorrow night at 6.16 p.m. Moon will be uh, setting tonight, at or tomorrow morning, I should say, at 12.47 a.m. And be rising tomorrow afternoon at 3.20 p.m. And set tomorrow night at 1.09 a.m. Friday morning. Speaking of Friday, it's looking better than what it, what it did earlier, it, except for Friday night. Friday, fair skies till noon, then becoming mostly cloudy. Then there's an 80% chance of rain by Friday night, I'm afraid. Low near 43, high of uh, 66, with southwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And there you see the other information. Uh, here's Saturday's forecast. Here's Sunday's forecast, October 21st. Monday's forecast, October 22nd. Notice how close to freezing we're going to be on Monday morning, 34 degrees. Uh, Tuesday, October 23rd. And there's Wednesday, October 24th. I believe that concludes it for this evening. 
I hope you have a great uh, Wednesday night and a uh, great Thursday tomorrow. And of course, as usual, I hope all of you have a very pleasant night and day tomorrow. And once again, I hope to uh, talk to you again soon. Otherwise, God bless.